Welcome to my allotment, Plot 3 in North Warwickshire. Today I'm uh, going to empty bin 1, which is on the right. That was the first bin I started with the uh, banana skins. And I would say there's just over 200 banana skins in each uh, bin at the moment. So I'll get these bins off, get the juices out of the three white tubs, and we'll see what we've got, and then we'll empty bin number one out see what uh, 200 odd banana skins look like after what three months we've moved the bins down now so bin two's there bin three was the most productive as you'd uh, well imagine with having the uh, fresh skins in bin two's been topped up with banana skins as it settles bin one was the first bin I started and you can see it's well rotted down but I do remember not topping that up with skins but it has broke down really well and we've got that much tea out of the both get that bottled up in a minute but uh, I'll empty this out and we'll have a look at it these are the, uh, the fresh skins just get the uh, glove on. Uh, blended those about a week ago but I knew I was doing this uh, empty out and you can see the juices at the bottom there already coming out the banana skins and this is the banana skins that have broke down. There's still plenty of juices in there I'm going to spread them in the compost bin. Or do I spread it round the tomatoes? Let me have a think of that one. Just an experiment. So, I'll put these banana skins into bin one. I'll keep topping that up now and let these two bins keep draining out. And I'll get uh, these juice is bottled up we'll see what we've got just need to put you down because I can't switch off with a dirty glove so there we have it four and a half litres of banana liquid plant food concentrate and there's all the egg casings of the gnats and any of the other creepy crawlies that uh, managed to sneak in. <clears throat> so that half bottle, I'll probably use that on the tomato plant food experiment. And this, it'll be a follow on now to uh, a little bit of a trial I want to do using blended eggshells. This has been put through the blender, so most of it is nice and fine and then the log ashes and this is to see if we can prevent blossom end rot so uh, we'll just move into the polytunnel so this area on the right in the first bed we'll put the eggshells this side first second bed on the left just after the cabbages will be the log ashes and then we've got a single tomato in that corner and what I'll probably do is just use the banana skins on those three and we'll leave those three as they are they're all similar tomatoes, so it might just give us a bit of an idea. Uh, it doesn't look like the tomatoes are going to ripen for Mrs Doyle's tomato competition. But it's been a, been a funny old year. I'll just spread these out now. And then we can have a look. A look at what it actually looks like. So there's the eggshells. 
got plenty. So those three tomatoes there are blank, including two tomatoes behind the carrots, just to see a comparison. So I've done that alicante there with the banana skins and then we're away then with the log ashes on this side. And it'll be really interesting to see how the tomatoes get on. It's surprising how quickly my mind works for experiments. But we've got natural resources that we may as well use. They haven't cost me anything. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and comment so that we can all learn from our experiences. Happy growing everyone and take care till next time.